I'm reading from、uh, the new collection of short stories、uh, that just came out in the spring. It's called the Chinese Knot, and the story I'm reading、um, is the title story.、Um, it's set in the blue. Partly, it's set in the Blue West Village.、Um, the main character, the heroine, is a ESL teacher.、Um, I'm gonna read the part that、uh, when she encounters her immigrant, her students, and some of them think、uh, because she's Chinese, they trust her will do something as a Chinese they think should do. So here you see the culture, the identity, the conflict. In the value system, Luan gets off the rush off bus and crosses the street. As she hastens, she thinks she'll be just make it on time for her nine o'clock ERS class in the community center. Teacher Lu, Teacher Lu, wait, wait for me. A man is calling out to her from behind. It must be a student of hers. Luan thinks. Chinese like to call the teacher by their job title. It is Mr. Zhong. Luan greets him, continuing to walk briskly. Mr. Zhong is out of breath, trying to keep up with his teacher. Teacher Lu, this morning I went to coffee time to practice my English. Here, I've got your coffee," he says enthusiastically, handing Luan a paper cup. "You did. You should be very proud of yourself. You have ordered your first breakfast in English. How much do I owe you for the coffee?" They are at the gate, at the front gate of the community center. "No thank, no thank," Mr. Zhong waves his hand vigorously. Then, in Chinese, he said. He asked Luan, "Would I be able to take a few minutes of your press time after class?" "Sure," laughs Luan. Mr. Jones, polite Chinese, reminds her of a way of speech she hasn't heard much since she came to Canada. Luan has been teaching in ER to new immigrants for more than a decade. The Canadian government recently opened the door to new immigrants from mainland China, and since then, Mandarin speakers have gradually filled up her morning ESL class. Two weeks ago, Mr. Zhong walks into her classroom, dressed in a formal business suit. He looked as if he were here to attend a business convention. Tall and stoutly built, with a square face, he had a northern Chinese accent. Marked by its clear rising and falling cadence, and it sounded wonderful to Luan's ear, arousing instant homesickness. He sat down in the middle of the front row, right under the teacher's eyes. Luan felt she was being scrutinized as Mr. Zhong rolled his eyes under his thick, dark eyebrows. After testing his English, she was even more impressed. The rest of the class became aware of their teacher's delight at finding her best student so far. Of course, Mr. Zhong is no fool. Luan has cautioned herself against giving too much attention to one student. This morning, Mr. Zhong wears a navy blue suit, white shirt, a red tie, and his silver cufflinks shimmer under the fluorescent lights. Whenever he raises his hand to answer her questions, at 11:30, class is dismissed. After the other students have departed, Mr. Zhong gently closes the door. He pulls over two chairs to where Luan is standing. So, what can I do for you? Luan looks at Mr. Zhong, hoping he will be quick. She has an afternoon class to teach. At another location, sit down, Teacher Lu. Sit down, please. They sit down face to face, their knees almost touching. Teacher Lu, I don't know how to talk to you about this. I am embarrassed, Mr. Zhong stammers. Luan smiles at her bright student. 
assuring him that she's listening. Please tell me what it is. I'll do my best to help you. I came to Toronto to attend a conference on a three-month visitor's visa, and I don't want to go back to China. I want to stay in Canada permanently. Now two months has passed, so I'm getting anxious. I would like to change my status in Canada before my visa expires. Mr. Zhong looks at Luan with pleading eyes. Do you mean you want to apply for immigration? Luan quickly assesses the case. She has seen similar situations many times before. Yes, I like Canada very much. I want to stay. That's fine. You can apply for immigration by yourself or through a lawyer. If you need a lawyer, I can refer you to someone who can advise you professionally. As your ESL teacher, I can write your reference letter about your level of English. Luan is relieved that Mr. Jones' request is not beyond her limited power as a contract ESL teacher.